Just wanted to show you something funny. This is our uh, BC-375 again. And here is our monitor receiver at 3.885 MHz. That's the boat anchor frequency in 80 meters. We got the whole thing on a watt meter and a dummy load. So we're not pumping it out in the antenna for now. It is hooked up into 50 ohms. So I have the antenna tuner and the antenna capacitor and the antenna coupling set for 50 ohms. Obviously this is peaked for 3885. This is the VFO that's set for 3885. We have it at voice. This is my modulation input. I'm running it through my Daydong Speeds processor with a with a circuit that emulates a carbon microphone. It's actually built into this connector with a transistor. Here is our power supplies. Two power supplies, each 500 volts regulated. They're uh, electrophoresis uh, power supplies. Can deliver 400 milliamps, which is uh, what this transmitter requires. And we're running our filament power supply at, uh, what is it, uh, 26 volts right now, which sets the filament meter nicely in the middle. And what is it that makes this special from what I showed you earlier? Well, this tube is not a VT25, it's a 6L6 a tri uh, a pentode that I have wired up as a triode. Now the uh, 6L6 draws 6.3 amps at 0.9, uh, sorry, 6.3 volts at 0.9 amps. So I have added a 5 ohm resistor there which takes the seven and a half volts that normally is required by the VT25 and is now supplying that tube, the pentode. The cathode is connected to the filaments to emulate a uh, directly heated triode and the grid, the, the, the screen grid, is connected to the anode to simulate a triode. Which is, uh, if you read the RCA data sheet, which is something that's allowed for this tube. It's called triode mode. So a resistor to adapt it to the correct uh, filament voltage and current and a triad configuration for the uh, screen grid. Why did I do that? Well that VT25 is so obscenely expensive by these audiophiles. These nutcases pay like $200 for a used tube and I had to test this transmitter. Well, you know, these are Chinese VT4Cs, 811s. That is 50 bucks a pop. That's acceptable and they work quite well in this transmitter as I showed you in an earlier video. But that tube, I'm not going to pay $200 for it. And the Chinese, uh, unfortunately, do not make a substitute. So I thought, let's try this. And guess what? It works excellent. So once the tests are complete, I'm going to wire this up nicely so the socket doesn't show like that. And that's going to be a perfect substitute for a VT25 if you want to get your BC375 working in original condition without any messing. This whole transceiver is in original condition. No mops from the inside. But it's using a 6L6 pentode instead of the VT25 triode. Let's see how it works. I'll give 12 dB compression. I have my monitor receiver at 3885. Let's first set it for the right frequency. Go to upper sideband here. Oops. A bit loud there. Better turn off the modulation. Much better. Okay, we're at 3885. Turn this back to amplitude modulation. And we're gonna now turn on the compressor and the microphone. One, two, three, four, five testing. Man, that works like a son of a bitch! With a 6L6 triode, uh, a pentode. Switched as a triode, as a microphone preamp right now, driving the amplifier uh, push-pull tubes. 
which on its turn modulates modulates the uh, amplifier, the uh, transmitter. We are at uh, good power here, 250 watt slug in the bird, and we are at uh, at about 80, 90 watts carrier, and we did not need we did not need the uh, VT25, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, a little bit less volume there, that sounds quite nice, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, from the BC-375 aircraft transmitter, World War II, this one I'm in the process of fixing up, I repainted the whole thing, redid the lettering, redid the whole uh, chassis here, and now I need to uh, do the side panels and the top and then the unit is as new again. I did find a uh, mounting for it so I can mount it on the original mount. That works very well. One, two, three, four, five. My power supplies handle the current quite well. 330 milliamps. That's uh, within specification as you can see here as well total plate current works quite well this thing works like new with a 6L6 instead of a VT25 and I saved a bundle of money on my car insurance folks thank you for watching